inflation, inflation, inflation. It's one of those scary words that constantly appears in the news today. Whether it's articles on the next recession, or what the Federal Reserve plans to do next, there are so many scares when it comes to inflation. Is it caused by the cost of gas? How can I protect myself? What is inflation anyway, and how does it affect me? All these questions and more will be answered in this video. Inflation, what is it and how does it affect us? When a currency's value decreases over time, it is referred to as inflation. Over a period of time, an economy's average price level for a basket of selected goods and services can be used to estimate the rate of decline in purchasing power. The increase in prices, which is frequently expressed as a percentage, means that a unit of currency now buys less than it did previously. As compared to inflation, deflation occurs when money's purchasing power rises and prices fall. Important things to keep in mind. It is the rate of currency depreciation that causes the general price level of goods and services to rise. Demand pull inflation, cost push inflation, and built-in inflation are all types of inflation. The consumer price index and the wholesale price index are the two most commonly used measures of inflation. Depending on one's point of view and the rate of change, inflation can be viewed positively or negatively. With tangible assets, such as real estate or commodities, inflation can be beneficial because it increases the value of those assets. Getting a grip on inflation. While it's simple to track the price of a single product over time, human needs go far beyond that. To live a comfortable life, individuals require a wide range of products and services. Commodities such as food grains, metals and fuel, utilities like electricity and transportation, services such as healthcare, entertainment, and labor are all included in the list of goods and services. A single value can represent the rise in prices of goods and services in an economy over a given period of time, which is what inflation is all about. In this case, 8.6% was the 12-month ending May 2022 CPI yield. For the first time since December 1981, there was a year-over-year -year increase of this magnitude. A currency's value decreases over time, resulting in an increase in prices and decreased purchasing power. As a result of the general decrease in the purchasing power of the general public, economic growth slows. Economists generally agree that inflation is sustained when the growth of a country's money supply exceeds the growth of its economy. Inflation Case Study So that inflation can be controlled and the economy can continue to run smoothly, a country's appropriate monetary authority, such as its central bank, implements the necessary controls over the issuance of new currency and credit in order to do just that. According to the theory of monetarism, an economy's inflation and money supply are linked. Following the conquest of the Aztec and Inca empires by the Spaniards, for example, vast quantities of gold and silver entered the economies of Spain and other European countries. Because of the rapid rise in the quantity of money in circulation, the value of the currency dropped, causing prices to soar. There are many ways to measure inflation, depending on the type of goods and services being considered, and the opposite of deflation, which occurs when the inflation rate falls below 0%, is inflation. Another term that describes a slowing rate of inflation is disinflation, which is not to be confused with the previously mentioned term. Inflation's Roots As the supply of money rises, so does inflation, which can manifest in various ways in the economy. Monetary authorities can increase a country's money supply by printing more money and giving it to the people, devaluing the legal tender currency in accordance with the law, creating reserve account credits by purchasing government bonds from banks on the secondary market and lending them to the banking system, currently the most common method. Money loses its purchasing power in all of these situations. There are three types of mechanisms that drive inflation, demand pull inflation, cost push inflation, and inflation that is built into the system. Effect of supply and demand. Demand pull when the overall demand for goods and services in an economy grows faster than the economy's production capacity due to an increase in the supply of money and credit. Inflation occurs. As a result of the increased demand, prices have risen. What is the process of inflation? Positive consumer sentiment fuels increased spending, which in turn drives up prices because of the increased demand. As a result, prices rise as a result of a difference between supply and demand. The cost push effect. Cost push inflation is a result of rising prices in the production process inputs working their way through the system. Increased costs for a wide range of intermediate goods occur when new money and credit are pumped into commodity or other asset markets, especially in conjunction with an adverse economic shock to the supply of key commodities. 
these developments increase the cost of the finished product or service, which in turn affects consumer prices. Consumer prices can rise as a result of a rise in the cost of energy due to speculative increases in oil prices, which can be seen in a wide range of inflation measures. Component-Based Inflation Adaptive Expectations The belief that current inflation rates will continue in the future is linked to built-in inflation. To maintain their standard of living, people begin to expect that prices will rise at a similar rate in the future and therefore demand higher costs, or wages. To keep the wage price spiral in motion, workers' wages rise in tandem with rising prices for goods and services. Indexes based on price. Various types of baskets of goods are calculated and tracked as price indices, depending on the selected set of goods and services. It is most common to use indexes of consumer prices and wholesale prices to make comparisons between different products and services. Index of Consumer Prices An index called the Consumer Price Index is a measure that examines the weighted average price of a consumer basket of essential goods and services. Transportation, food, and medical care are all included. Every item in a predetermined basket of goods is taken and averaged according to its weight in the basket in order to calculate the Consumer Price Index. These are the retail prices, which are those that the general public can afford to pay. The CPI is one of the most commonly cited statistics for detecting periods of inflation or deflation. It measures the change in the price of goods and services. The CPI was first calculated by the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics in 1913 and has been published every month since then. According to the Consumer Price Index for All Urban Consumers, which first appeared in 1978, 88% of the American population is represented by the CPIU. Purchasing Power Parity The Wholesale Price Index is a widely used inflation indicator that tracks changes in the wholesale price of goods before they reach the retail level. Depending on the country, WPI items may include items at the wholesale or manufacturing level. Cotton prices for raw cotton, cotton yarn, cotton gray goods, and cotton clothing are all included in this data set. Although the WPI is used by many countries and organizations, the Producer Price Index is also used in many countries, including the United States. The Index of Producer Prices The average change in selling prices received by domestic producers of intermediate goods and services over time is measured by the Producer Price Index family of indices. The CPI measures price changes from the buyer's perspective, whereas the PPI looks at changes from the seller's perspective. If the price of one component rises, it may be possible that the price of another declines to some extent. Commodity level price changes are reflected in each index, which represents the average weighted price change for each constituent. Inflation can be thought of as a silent culprit that affects the financial health of all investors with no regard for their age, career, or education level. It is the reason for rising prices, weak economic performance and can most notably be compared to a vulture whose appetite knows no bounds. Each year inflation eats up ever larger chunks of your hard-earned wealth until you're left holding an empty bag, quite literally in terms of physical dollar bills, but also figuratively with regards to the prosperity that these dollars once promised. And it is never more visible and more painful than when the time comes to pay your taxes. I hope you enjoyed part 1 of our series, on the ultimate guide to inflation. In part 2, we will discuss examples on how much inflation we are currently paying since the 70s and more. So be sure to check that out tomorrow, or the info card above for more information. Were you aware of what inflation is, and how it affects us all? Do you have any additional information that others should know about this topic? Let us know in the comments section below. Be sure to like and subscribe for more content to transform into smart money.